Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, there is no carpet on the floor anymore. Why, you ask? Because Miss Apple liked to pee on it. Even though I know that she liked to pee pee on the carpet, I just thought maybe if I see her do it, I would like spank her, like tap her leg and tell her no thank you, no, no. I, I actually did that a couple times, but it doesn't matter because she still pee peed on my carpet. So when I got home from work, it was reeking down here in the basement. So I just got the carpet, rolled it all the way up, put it in my laundry room. I just have to wait until um, Carlo can hopefully bring it to my daycare because it, it's just bad. It's just really bad. And I know she don't know, but I'm gonna tell you what she do know. She know to go upstairs and cry by the door when she has to pee, pee, and poop. So I just think someday she likes, whatever, like, I, I gotta go bad. Let me just go right here. Keep in mind, we have the mats down for her, but um, I don't, I don't know. She just, she just don't care. So I had to take up my nice, beautiful carpet. So I'm, I'm hoping that it's still cozy down here. We're supposed to get together and uh do like a movie night i'm I'm excited about that because we're gonna watch this new movie i forgot the name of it but by the time the video was edited i'm gonna have the name of it so i seen the preview and i was like oh my gosh we have to watch this movie so carlo went to pick up lizzie um i think she's like some sort of manager for like the basketball team or whatever but i think so but anyway so he went to pick her up yeah, he's going to stop at the store and grab a couple things. And we're going to chill and watch this movie. Uh, I just want to take a moment, uh, just a brief little moment, and just talk about the president. I just pray for the president, and I just hope that um, everything just go amazing for the upcoming years to come. Um, I'm not upset, nor am I angry, uh, because I just feel like everything's in God's hands. But unfortunately, I was bombarded by uh, 1,000 text messages of a little angry person just getting so upset that he's in office. And I I don't have anything to do with that. I, I'm sorry. Like, that's one thing. People always want to mix their feelings with politics. I mean... I don't know why, because I feel like everybody got a freedom to vote for Kamala. Everybody got the freedom to vote for Trump. But, you know, every, people just seem to forget that part. But, you know, it's all as well. And it'd be your family that becomes so angry and just, you know, but all you can do is just sit back and pray for them because I'm I'm for whoever the Lord is for. Okay, because who's ever president, I'm going to pray for them. And I don't feel like, uh, I just don't feel like America, I just don't feel like we are just doomed. I'm, I, I don't. Because as long as I'm a worshiper, as long as I, we and my family have a breath in our body to pray and, and praise, that's me. And, and, and that's where I stand on it. Because in reality, it really don't matter if Harris one trump one it don't matter to me i just want i want the lord to win i want it to be ran in the way that he wanted to right so but yeah everybody really 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 got in their feelings and just became so so angry and so irate but with people like that all you can do is just keep a closed mouth keep a closed mouth because sometimes you can block your blessing when you get into strife Sometimes you can just do too much and say too much. It's beyond politics. It's beyond who won, um, who's who's the president. It's just beyond that. Sometimes we just have to keep our mouths still because you're waiting on that that blessing from the Lord. So you don't want to get yourself in strife and, and arguing and, and nagging and complaining and talking about folks. So I just want you guys to remember that. Because literally for me, that's all I thought about. Because I'm trying to go to another level. Uh, again, I don't care who's the president. I just want to pray for who's ever in office, okay? So that's where I stand on it. And if, you know, nobody can respect that because everybody wants to be either Trump crazy or Harris crazy. 
it just really at the end of the day i'm still getting up all my hours of sleep i'm still waking up to a healthy family our minds are still sound we still able to worship and praise and we're, we still able to do what we gonna do uh i just think a lot of people is afraid that a lot of things is gonna stop but fear comes from the devil uh you know just you can't be in fear you know when, when you when you start fearing stuff so strongly you know things come about on you so you know just just don't be in fear like that you guys but i want to share with you i'm just i'm done with that topic i just wanted to talk about that today because i was just ambushed with so many text messages this morning on how a certain person felt about uh trump being president but um I ain't got nothing to do with that. But anywho, I want to show you guys what I made. I made some candle melts, but I did not sell them because I was not very happy with them. Please, please believe me when I tell you they smell amazing. Um, I have my labels are amazing. Everything is cute, but I just feel like I I wanted more of a cleaner look. So I made so many of them, and I actually I actually did sell a couple of my candle melts. And I, I don't even know how that person in particular knew that I was selling it, but yeah. So let me just show you what's going on. I just already took this top off, you guys. As soon as I took the top off, I'm just ambushed with a thousand smells. So here we go. Look at that. <laughs> we have apple, we have bosom fur, we have cinnamon, we have honey, we have everything child going on. And I have my little um wax melter over there, but yeah i made these all and i was gonna gift um i gifted a parents the parents a pack of um uh, candle melts and i was gonna give them like this for free but i'm just like yeah no because you know how you just want your work to be at its best and it just wasn't there for me like i said the smell was on point i think for me some of my colors i wasn't pleased with um, this is gingerbread, but some of my colors, this is supposed to be cinnamon, I think. So I wasn't happy with the color, so I just kept it, but it smells so good. It smells really good. So we got candle melts for days over here. <laughs> I just my daughter actually came up with this idea and I just thought it was such an amazing idea. Let me see. This is actually, um, cinnamon leaf. So right now I'm burning the bosom fur one. I'm burning that down here. My baby asked me please not to, but I just love the smell so much. And that's what I have going on now is this scent. But it smells, it smells so good. It looks so pretty. But again, I just wasn't really happy with the color. I just really wasn't happy with the color. I'm just gonna try to perfect it as I want to probably in a few more weeks because I just have plans to uh, gift uh, one of my daycare parents. She's expecting, so I'm going to personalize her a candle and wait till you guys see it. It's going to be so, so beautiful. Um, but yeah, we have that going on. We're going to watch a movie. And I just wanted to share with you guys because at first I was a little bit, uh, I was a little bit taken aback. Uh, I don't want to say angry, but I was more or less shocked on how I was just ambushed with a flood of messages uh, this morning. But I'm I'm all good now because I'm a child of the king. Hey, Kyla. Hola. How was lacrosse? Muy bien. Stop. How was lacrosse? It was good. Okay, because it sounds like you said you're welcome. No, very good. Oh, Boy, yeah. we've been okay. We've been we. Okay, now you're going. Oh, okay, but that's good. Carla was on the tra uh the track. Carla was on the cross before last year. She did amazing, but she had uh, a couple of the grown teachers who just was pressing in too much. Yeah. Um, right, a little, a little too much, a little too much, and a couple of the girls was just a little too much i think carla was probably the only um the black kid were you the only black yeah, girl? i was two other black girls okay so that's two black girls On out of team. yeah 
So, but let me tell you what I told Carla. I was just happy that, because she really wanted to quit last year because uh, she just didn't like it. She felt like they were like secluding her. And you know me, I wanted to just, psh, I just, I just really wanted to rush the teachers with a flood of emails. Although I did do that. I definitely did that with the emails. And then teachers really act different um, with the children like high school, grammar school, whatever, they act different. You know, they're going to say things to the kids. And then when a parent step up and, 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 and have words with them, they just become so, Oh, really? I, so, you know, you gotta, you gotta know your kids. You gotta know your kids and you gotta know when your kids are exaggerated. So, but for mine, I know that Carla was not. So I had to really, really come at that woman real hardcore but very, but I was very, very polite. Matter of fact, I probably was over polite. But you know, I just let her know what it was and what it's not gonna be. But I was really proud of Carla um, because she wanted to do it again, and she wasn't letting fear or people hold her back because that can be this can this lacrosse can be her destined like something that she's gonna be amazing in. And what if she just didn't sign up again? because of the people. We cannot be moved by people. We cannot be moved by people feelings because it can be like a thousand folks jealous of you even if you feel like you don't have nothing, okay? We can't be moved by people, not at all. Or how people feel about us and they opinion because if, if we cared about people negative opinions, in regarding us, I don't even know how we, we will be in this world today, like functioning as humans. It won't be right because you'll be too busy trying to please Sarah, David, Michael, Michelle. You'll be too busy trying to please everyone. Everyone put it on you to be a certain way. Let me tell you, I got out of that real quick because I used to be that way. And it just feels so good to be free. Like every everybody in my circle my surroundings know me like i'm i'm zero very 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 minimum like i do not like any nonsense and i do not, i do not like any uh like ignorance and and just too much and just overboard like just it's enough for me cuz i'm i'm going to be 50 you know what i mean so you know when enough is enough and i just i'm grateful that my daughters my sons they see my walk and they are able to take pieces of my life and apply things to their life and know that they are strong and know that they can still move forward and press through even if people on the sideline is saying negative things you know but I don't know where that's coming from <laughs> but it came out but yeah you guys I just wanted to come on and talk about my little candle melt it smells so good right now and I also wanted to come on and talk about that just crazy text message I got today but yeah this smells so good can you guys smell it but I'm about to go we're about to watch this movie when Carla come home thanks for watching bye loves